Hey y'all, welcome back. Today's video is going to be another redo. I recently received a PR package from Shop Hush. In that package was my Retro Love palette, which is a dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. It's the Soul Culture palette. No, right? I think it's the Soul Culture palette. Shoot, I don't know. I did receive a PR package from Hush, and in that package was my Retro Love palette, as well as this palette right here. This is the Rosé Highlight Collection from Bad Habit Beauty. It looks so similar to my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero collaboration glow kit. Sis. Sis. Can you... Is there a difference? Somebody want to somebody wanna tell me what's going on here? So looking at this palette, it's obvious that all of the highlighters are arranged in a different order, you know, so it doesn't look necessarily that similar when you look at it off the bat, but this color shine in the rosé palette is similar to Forever Lit in the ABH palette. The color bubbly is similar to Glow Getter. Um, actually, that one I'm a little iffy about. So the color Pinkies Up is similar to daydream and all day is similar to kitty cat you can maybe reverse those actually ki yeah yeah i'd say yeah yeah, yeah yeah so cheers is similar to forever young and bubbly is similar to glow getter and then champagne is more of a 143 um bubbly and champagne look very similar to be honest i'm gonna swatch them right now and see if there's really that much of a difference so this is champagne and this is bubbly Okay, so they're barely, there's barely a difference between those two. Am I tripping or do those look very similar? Those look very similar. My favorite color in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette is Glow Getter. Actually, it's a tie between Glow Getter and 143. Um, so I think I'm going to go in and use Glow Getter on my right side of my face. I'm going to go in with a clean, clean highlighting brush. And what I found with this ABH palette is that it's definitely very glittery and if you just go in and just start swiping it on It's going to get all over your face. So what you're gonna want to do is tap it on first To where you want it to go Oh y'all I almost put it on the other side, okay Tap off the excess and then blend it in Ooh, do you see that? It's no highlight. That's some of Glow Getter. Actually, on this side, I'm going to be mixing Glow Getter and 143. And to be honest, I haven't, you know, really been using this palette as much. I've been sticking to my um, Beauty Bakery highlighter, but <gasps> why haven't I been using this highlighter as much? Like. Next, I'm going to go in with the Rosé Highlight Collection from Bad Habit Beauty, and I'm going to mix Bubbly and Champagne. These seem to be the two darkest colors. There's not as much kick up as when I press my brush into the ABH palette. So first I'm going to go in with Bubbly, tap off the excess. Okay, okay, this is definitely, definitely lighter. Oh, that is definitely lighter. Maybe it blends out more. Okay, Champagne definitely has more of a kickback than Bubbly does. These are definitely lighter than the ABH kit. Ooh, this is more subtle. This definitely is more toned down than that. That is blinding. And to be honest, it looks so weird in person. I much prefer the ABH side because it's a little bit less intense and it looks way more natural than this side. One thing I will say after using both of these palettes is that the 143 in the ABH kit, there is no comparison to what is in the Rosé highlight palette. The fact that 143 is my go-to highlight in the ABH and Nicole Guerrero glow kit really makes my decision that this is not a dupe of this. These are not dupes of each other, just solely based off of that one color, 143, as someone who is of a deeper skin tone. I want my highlighters to be a little bit deeper, a little bit more rich, and 143 does that for me. 
there's no color in here that is comparable to 143. So I'd say they're not dupes of each other, but they are very similar. With that being said, I really do think that the pigmentation in this Rosé Highlight Collection is amazing. Like the colors are beautiful. Like they swatch just as well as the ABH Glow Kit. So I think one color that I will never tap into to put on my cheeks is Shine and Forever Lit. I probably use these as like inner corner highlights, but I would never use them on my cheeks because because so that is it for this video but before you leave I would like to get to the details of my giveaway I do have an extra bad habit beauty rose highlight collection palette that I'm going to be giving away to one of my subscribers so all you have to do to be entered into this giveaway is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below saying what you are thankful for Thanksgiving was just yesterday and I took the time to reflect and realize that I'm very grateful for you guys I'm very grateful for my friends and family and I'm very grateful for everyone who is really supportive of me and everything that I do and really pushes me and makes me achieve things that I never thought I would achieve so I'm really grateful for that and I think it would be great if you took the time to reflect and put that down below and I'm going to pick randomly from the comment section in two weeks. Actually, no. I'm going to pick randomly from the comment section in one week. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.